Today I partnered up with LastPass to bring you this video. Now, LastPass resolves an issue that I'm sure you've come across and I've come across many times. And that is remembering the username and passwords for every single website, every single social network that I log into. It is terrible. No longer will you have to remember, write down, or reset your passwords. I know some people that actually have the same password for everything. That is a terrible, terrible idea. You can enable the extension with the iOS app and go ahead and autopilot all your passwords. Just simply enable the extension and fill in all the passwords as you visit the websites that you have to log into one single secure vault is all it takes with one single password so LastPass, check them out in the links in the description if you've had this issue i'm pretty sure you're gonna love this service okay so let's go ahead and begin today i want to test ios 11 beta 7 in comparison to beta 6 now apple did release beta 7 uh, two days ago so i want to go ahead and see if it's performing any better than beta 6 in this video we have a boot up test performance test also test the operating system to see how everything is flowing and at the end of the video you want to stay tuned and have a battery performance test so we're going to start with a boot up test both devices are off so we're going to power up at a count of three one two three and there they go and it looks like the screen lit up first on a beta 7 so let's go ahead and wait for the official boot up so ios 11 and beta 7 booted up first by maybe one second or so but it is a good sign already from the new beta okay so now i just want to browse through the os bring up some of these animations open and close applications to see which one has any hiccups or not let's go ahead and see here if everything is flowing as it should and it looks like the speed and performance is relatively the same in terms of the os browsing the os now there's one thing in particular that i noticed that's a little glitchy in beta 6 5 4 and so on in comparison to beta 7 which is 3d touch on 3d touch devices so we're going to try 3d touch on the settings application at 1 2 3 and it looks like ios 11 beta 7 still has a little bit of that hiccups going on but maybe not as laggy as it was before you guys be the judge there I also have some AirPods here and Bluetooth connectivity is one thing that you guys uh, wanted to know about and I'm going to open up the lid here to see which one detects the AirPods first in terms of Bluetooth speeds has it improved or not so one two three well it looks like actually iOS 11 beta 6 did that faster we're going to go ahead and try that one more time at a count of three one two three well after the first try it looks like identical there but at first beta 6 did detect bluetooth a little faster how about the app switcher one two three again beta 6 looked to be performing a little faster let's go ahead and bring the multitasker one more time one two three again beta 6 performed better in that aspect as well how about the camera let's go ahead and take a look at the camera here just a regular photo let's go ahead and do a burst mode here one two three okay so 18 photos on both so the shutter speeds are identical let's try loading apps let's go ahead and do that here with the app store one two three okay so it looks like pretty much identical let's do the itunes store here and it looks like uh, ios 11 and beta 7 slightly faster by maybe half a second or so nothing drastic there now when it comes to safari browsing the web i'm going to go here into settings find the safari extension and clear out all web data and history down here so all history and web data is clear and what i want to do is jump into safari to see uh, which one loads up apple.com faster see if the performance has improved okay so here we go one two three and they're off iOS 11 beta 7 actually did that quite a bit faster. Let's see the scrolling. As you know, iOS 10 and iOS 11 have a different scroll. If you scroll once, it looks like it has improved on both, but it looks like beta 7 once again, in comparison to beta 6, we have seen a slight improvement. It's a little slower, but it is sort of smoother in a way. This one's a little fast and choppy in my opinion. And a beta 7 in my opinion is just smoother now one thing i noticed here is that i was going to test the speed on siri and it looks like when you have two devices i wasn't aware of this when you have two iphones sitting next to each other and you have them both set to your voice siri does not uh, come up on both devices simultaneously it detects uh, one another so check it out hey siri you can see there they both launch but only one device follows up with the siri commands so i'm going to go ahead and manually enable it and go ahead and ask siri something to see i'm sure nothing's connected yet but let's go ahead and see the speed on which one is faster in terms of siri set a timer for how long one minute your timer is set for so ios 11 once again 
uh, beta 7 actually did that a little faster as you saw there so now i want to go ahead and get to the good stuff the geek bench so all apps are closed in the background let's go ahead and close all the apps and now they're all closed and we're, let's go ahead and clear out the memory here by holding the power button and then holding the home button until we see the screen flash it's going to clear out the memory and let's see which one performs faster with geekbench here to test the performance on both devices so beta 7 as i mentioned on the left beta 6 on the right so at a count of three one two three and they're off okay so they're almost done let's go ahead and see which one finishes up first here and it looks like ios 11 beta 7 finished first and again the tests are very similar to uh what i did in my uh, previous video beta 7 slightly below but again nothing drastic however in this case a multi-core score on ios 11 beta 7 uh, looks to be a slightly higher so in terms of performance you're not going to really notice a lot of difference here are the scores now there's one more test i want to do and that is the unlocking animation see if it has improved a little faster if there's any hiccups all right so both devices touch id one two three just about the same amount of speed let's go ahead and do that again you notice there's a little glitch in beta 6 where the screen stays a little dark uh, a little darker for a few seconds there you see that it has been fixed in beta 7 so one two three animations unlocking the device are pretty much similar all right so now let's get to the test that you guys probably care about the most and that is the battery performance beta 7 on the left beta 6 on the right as you can see here ios 11 beta 7 is performing rather good now both devices brightness was up 100 percent a bluetooth wi-fi was enabled on both devices the same tasks were performed and of course they were both charged to 100 percent and on ios 11 beta 7 we managed to get an additional 20 minutes of extra on-screen time that is really good news we've seen improvements throughout the os every single beta excluding beta 2 to beta 3 which was a downgrade but now we're back up in beta 6 beta 7 and it looks to be good so there you guys have it that was the comparison apple looks to be polishing up ios 11 to the max with beta 7 if you're looking to update to ios 11 beta 7 is probably a good time to do so it feels very stable and the os is flowing rather nice there you guys have it i hope you guys enjoyed the video and have a great day i'll see you real soon peace